Hi Reception, now to start our phonics lesson today we're going to have a go at quick writing some of our trigraph and digraph sounds that we've already learned. So the first sound I'd like you to write is the oi sound. Can you remember which two letters make the oi sound? See if you can write it down on a piece of paper. The next sound I'd like you to write is the ow sound. What two letters make the ow sound? See if you can write it. The next sound I'd like you to write is a trigraph sound. And this sound is the I sound. Can you remember which three letters make the I sound? See if you can write it down. The next sound I'd like you to write is the OO sound. The OO sound. And it also makes an U uh sound. See if you can remember which two letters make that sound. And the last sound I want you to write is the trigraph sound that we did yesterday. And it's the EAR sound. Can you remember which three letters make our EAR sound? Well done! And you can take a picture of your writing and upload it to Seesaw for us to see. This is our new sound that we're going to be learning today and this is also another trigraph sound because it has three letters in it that make one sound. And this new sound that we're going to learn today is called the air sound. Can you say that with me? Air. Well done. And it's made up of three letters. It's made up of an A, an I and an R. And it makes the air sound. And we usually find this sound at the end of a word. We're going to see if we can have a go at writing our new sound. And I'd like you to have a go at doing this on a piece of paper at home as well. So can you remind me what three letters make up our new sound, our air sound? Yes, well done. An A and an I and an R. So we're going to see if we can write our air sound. So we've got an A, an A, an I, 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 and an R, an R, that make our air sound. Brilliant. Let's see if we can have another go. A, I, I, and an R. So we've got our three letters, our A, our I and our R that make our air sound. Well done. Now we're going to have a go at reading some words that have got our new air sound in that we're learning today. And I've got an aeroplane to come and help us. And we're going to use the aeroplane to fly through the air. And we're going to stop off at some words that have our air sound in see if we can read them. Are we ready? Are we ready to go on a journey with our plane and see what words we can read with our new air sound in? Let's see where it stops. It stopped on this word. Let's see if we can read this word. What sounds this? Well done. And look, we've got our new air sound in the word, our trigraph sound. F, air. Blend it together. Fair. Well done. And here's a picture of a fairground with lots of rides. So this word has got our new air sound in. Fair. Well done. Let's see what other words we can read with our air sound in. Let's see where the plane's going to land. It's landed on this word. Now this word has got a digraph sound in and a trigraph sound in. Let's see if we can read it. What digraph sound is this? Well done. And look, what's this sound, our new trigraph sound? 
Air, well done, let's blend it together. Ch, air, chair, well done. And there we've got a picture of a chair. So that's got our air sound in, well done. Let's see what other words we've got. See where it lands. <gasps> it's landed on this word this time. Let's see if we can read this word. What sounds this? P -p -p. Well done. And this sound? Air. Well done. Let's blend it together. P air. Pear. Well done. And it's showing a pair of socks because pair means two things. So a pair of socks. Well done. Right, let's see what else we've got. Let's see what other word we've got to read. Let's see where it stops. Let's have a go at reading this word. What sounds this? Well done. And what sounds this on new sound for today? Air. Well done. Let's blend it together. Air. Hair. Well done. Like the hair on your head. Brilliant. We're going to have a go now at making a paper aeroplane. And we're going to see if we can write some words that have our air sound in and write them on our paper aeroplane. So I'm going to show you how to make one out of paper. And you can copy me by doing one at home and then we're going to write some words with our air sound on. So we're going to use a piece of paper and fold over the corners of the paper. And then turn it over and then we're going to join up the corners. So fold it across and then press it down. And then we're going to fold over the top pieces. So fold it back and then press it down and turn over to the other side and fold it back and press it down. That's it and we've made our paper aeroplane. So now I'd like you to write the air sound on your paper aeroplane. Can you remember what letters make our air sound? A and an I and an R. Well done. Let's see if we can write it on our aeroplane. A, I and a R. Our air sound. Well done. Now I've got some pictures that have our air sound in. And we're going to see if we can write some words with the air sound in onto our aeroplane. So I'm going to choose this picture first. What's the arrow pointing to? Somebody's hair. Well done. Let's sound talk hair. <laughs> air. Hair. Let's see if we can have a go at writing hair. So what's the first sound that we can hear? <sighs> well done. And then what's our next sound that we can hear? The air sound, well done, our trigraph sound, so we need to make sure that we've got all three letters. We've got our A, our I, and our R. Hair, let's put the sound buttons underneath. Air, hair, well done. See if you can do it on your paper aeroplane. Let's have a go at one more. I'm going to turn my plane around. Let's see if we can have a go at writing. What's this a picture of? Fair, well done. Let's see if we can write the word fair. What's the first sound that we can hear in fair? F well done. F what's the next sound that we can hear? Air, well done. So what three letters do we need? A and an E. And a R. Well done. We've got F. Air. Brilliant. See if you can have a go at writing it on your paper aeroplane. Now I'd like you to have a go at home by yourself writing the word chair. See if you can write ch 
air chair on your paper aeroplane. Now if this was a real aeroplane and it was taking people on holiday, where would it be going from? That's right, it would be going from the airport. So we're going to have a go at writing the sentence. It will go from the airport. So we're going to write this sentence together. So I'd like you to have a go at writing this sentence on some piece of paper at home as well. So the first word in our sentence is the word it. How do we spell the word it? Well done, it and a t. So we need a capital A, we need an I and a t. It. Then we need a finger space. Our next word is will. How do we spell will? Well done. W, w, w. What's the next sound you can hear? E. Well done. And ooh. Well done. Now at the end of this word, we have our friendly ooh for will. It will go. How do we write our tricky word go? G and an R. Oh, well done. So we leave a finger space. We need a G. And a oh. It will go from. How do we spell our word from? Can you sound it out? R. R. Mm, well done. From. It will go from the. How do we write our tricky word the? Yes, we need a t and a h and an a, a t and a h and an e, the, well done. It will go from the airport, well done. Now, airport is a trickier word because it's our two-syllable word. So we need to break it up into two words to help us spell it. So the first word of airport is the word air. Well done. So how do we write the word air? Can you remember our new sound for today? It has three letters in it. Well done. An A, E, and a R. Well done, air. So that's the first part of our word. The second part of our word is Port. How do we spell the word port? P, p, p. Well done. And what two letters make the O sound? Yes, an O and a U. And what's the last sound you can hear in the word port? T, t, t. Well done. So now we can put those words together. Air. Port, airport, well done. What do we need at the end of the sentence? Full stop, well done. Let's go back and read our sentence and check it makes sense. It will go from the airport. Brilliant, well done. Now I'd like you to take a picture of your sentence writing and upload it to Seesaw for us to see. Well done reception.